How do I get rid of mole crickets? They are destroying my lawn. My pesticide company has not helped. <laughs> and this is Bridget. So, uh, yeah, we had a little conversation about mole crickets. Pretty yeah. interesting uh, little critters, right? They, they are. Yeah. yeah, and definitely attracted to the turf grasses. Yeah, so they love the turf grasses, mm -hmm. uh, which is why, you know, we always tell folks, you know, make sure you grow a thick, healthy stand of grass. Make sure you're cutting at the appropriate height, mm -hmm. fertilizing according to your soil test and then irrigating properly as well uh, because they do like your uh, turf grasses, especially if they're weakened, yes. right, by scalping your lawn and things like that because they tunnel mm -hmm. uh, in the soil. They can eat roots, shoots, and they can eat your leaves, right? But the interesting thing about mole crickets well, it's going to be the life cycle, right? So they're pretty active a couple of times during the year. So in the fall of the year, the adults will start laying eggs. All right, so you can actually target you know, the adults because they're laying the eggs in the fall, but in the spring, they're very active. The little nymphs are out there, so you definitely want to target those nymphs. Mm -hmm. Now, your pesticide companies will probably have products uh, that you can use. Bifenthrin is one that comes to mind. Uh, permethrin is another one. Mm -hmm. There are some soil systemic drenches uh, that you can use as well, but you will have to talk to your pesticide company right. you know, about that. Okay? But we also learned something else interesting that could help out. Yeah, so um, we were kind of looking into it and there is a parasitic wasp mm -hmm. that um, parasitizes the mole crickets. Right. So basically they lay their eggs on them and then as the young wasp develops, it's eating and eventually killing that cricket. Right. So, so there's actually a way to attract that wasp okay. to your area. <laughs> now. I should say this is not a wasp that is going to sting you. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, they're small. They're not the typical wasp that we're thinking right. of. Right, that's um, good. Yeah. So there is a native plant, and um, I can't remember where Bridget is from, but... Uh, yeah, we don't know. Yeah, she didn't tell us. But it, sh it should be, there's one called partridge pea. Okay. And apparently these wasps really like that plant. So if you plant that, you can have, you can potentially attract that wasp um, to help deal with your mole crickets. Okay. The other one is, and we were talking the extension office in Florida, is working, looking at uh, nematodes. Mm -hmm. um, so nematodes are microscopic parasitic worms. Right. And they target, well this specific type is targeting mole crickets. So a little bit of new stuff coming out. Yeah, new stuff coming out, which is why it's always good to uh, consult with your local extension office. That's right. Right, because they have that information there for you, research-based information. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed. To subscribe, click below.